Here's a fact that I don't think any sneaker fan can argue. Nobody makes better Adidas Sambas than Wales Bonner. British designer Grace Wales Bonner has given us some of the most memorable Adidas sneakers, each of them very much inspired by classic football culture and also her Jamaican heritage. She's now back yet again with another round of Adidas Sambas and these might be her best ones yet. And in this video, I'll be reviewing all four of the Adidas and Wales Bonner Sambas. So these sneakers released worldwide on November the 8th. I had that day circled on my calendar at the beginning of every month. I look at all of the sneakers dropping in a particular month and I circled the days that I get the most excited about. There were two days this month. One was these and the other being next week, those Sean Wotherspoon gazelles. This round of Wales Bonner Sambas released as part of a four pack. We had this leopard print colorway. We had a black and white pony hair Samba. We also had a white pair with some burgundy stripes and we finally got this brownish burgundy the nylon pair as well and the retail prices for all of these shoes were quite different at least according to the adidas confirmed app here in europe this pair the leopard print was the most expensive it retailed for 220 euros the black and cream pairs retailed for 200 and then you had the nylon pair which retailed for 180 but the rather strange thing about this release that i found was that there seemed to be different prices for these depending on what website you looked at after looking around for a bit i managed to scoop my pair from an italian website which was selling these for 179 euros which was already 40 euros below what the adidas confirmed app was selling them for i'm not entirely sure why different retailers had different prices however i'm pretty happy to get these for the prices i got them for and what made this round of the wales bonner and adidas partnership so special was that this time they focused only on one sneaker the adidas samba we got four of them whereas some of the previous drops also feature some other shoes such as the sl72 and the highlight of this round of sneakers was the choice of material use, specifically this pony hair. When I opened up the boxes of these shoes, felt them in hand, my first thought was, wow, I definitely got my money's worth here. These feel at least like a very premium product. The first drop had just nylon sneakers and the second drop had both new buck as well as patent leather. But I would say if we could give a rating to all of these sneakers just based on how premium they feel, this round of Sambas is definitely at the top. Alongside the sneakers, we once again Again, as usual got a very nice collection of clothing dropping as well but now let's get into the shoes we'll start off with the box so all four of the sneakers came in the same box it's done in black and it features your cream adidas stripes and what's great is that all these sneakers also came with this very nice dust bag this was actually the same dust bag and box that we got on the previous round of shoes and they seem to be inspired by Wales Bonners's Caribbean heritage and we'll get into all of these sneakers individually starting off with this leopard print pair is it a leopard is it a cheetah i don't know it doesn't matter what you want to call it i just know that these are absolutely fuego easily my favorite pair from this pack and I have to say, it's also my second favorite Wales Bonner Adidas Samba overall to drop so far after that original cream and green pair. I feel like these are actually the loudest sneakers we've seen from Wales Bonner, even more so than those silver ones. Almost every panel on the sneaker is covered in that pony hair material, which is done in this leopard print, except for the heel where you get this leather panel that's done in cream. And also, of course, on the stripes. We also have more of that cream leather material on the tongue of the sneaker and yeah, on these pairs you do get that longer tongue which I know a lot of people are just kind of turned off by I'll be honest I would have preferred the shorter tongue as well I understand that these sneakers are more true to the roots of the Adidas Samba however just in terms of looks I do think that the shorter tongues look better on these but it's certainly not a deal breaker for me we also get this very nice satin blue finish on the inner lining which surprisingly I think goes really well on the shoe the standard laces on these pairs are done in this dark brown color and you'll also notice on the lace holes they have this brass finish to them which is just another additional touch of luxury vibes and just in case you were wondering you do also get some extra laces on this pair some cream laces and to finish it off you get this classic gum outsole I honestly couldn't be happier to add this sneaker to the collection I own nothing that looks like this a lot of you guys may think this sneaker is 
just way too loud. It's not something you might be able to pull off. I kind of disagree. I think these Sambas look great paired with some blue jeans or even some brown pants. I just think these are gonna go great. I tried to pull off an outfit in these. This is my fit. Paired the shoes with some blue jeans as well as an Adidas track top that I had. Not gonna lie, this is one of my favorite fits. Feeling hella cozy in this. And I got some luxury on feet. Let me know what you guys think of the fit. Moving on to the white pair. Actually, let's call it cream because it's much more closer to cream than white. It is absolutely stunning. It's classic and once again has that very, very nice luxury feel to it. From a colorway point of view, if you missed out on those original green and cream pairs, these might be the closest you're gonna get to achieving that look. On this pair as well, you get a mainly cream shoe with these brownish burgundy stripes. To me, it looks kind of more dark brown than burgundy. And there's actually quite a few materials on this pair. You have some leather on the mudguard of the shoe. Most of the upper is once again covered in pony hair. And the color on the pony hair, I would say is closer to white, whereas the leather is closer to cream. So there's a bit of a contrast there. And moving to the back, you see this nubuck panel actually, which is done in that brownish burgundy color, which you also find on the stripes, which are also done in nubuck. If there's one change I would have made to the shoe, it would be that this heel panel here, I would have replaced the pony hair on the heel with something like a leather or suede, just because I think this heel section is gonna get dirty quite easily. And I have no idea how you would be able to clean the dirt off of this pony hair. I feel like if we had a leather panel back here, it would have been much easier to clean. Let me know what you guys think of this colorway. I think this one compared to the others, I would say is the perfect balance between style and versatility. It's a super wearable colorway, but it's one of those sneakers that people will know these aren't just some regular Sambas. So I'm a pretty huge fan of this colorway as well. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys think? I'll give you my rankings of all four of these sneakers at the end of the video. The third pair we gotta discuss is this black pony hair. And these guys are absolutely incredible. This sneaker is just screaming classic football heritage with just a touch of luxury. Seriously, if I was making a top 10 pickups of the year video, I think 30% of the sneakers on that list are in this video. In terms of the mix of materials, it's the same as the white pair. You have leather on the mud guard, most of the upper done in that black pony hair. And just look at how nice and shiny that looks. Like this is no pony. This is hair from a stallion. You also get some new buck on the cream panels of the shoe, like the heel, as well as the stripes and also on the tongue. And I actually really like the way the tongue looks on this pair, the Adidas and Wales Bonner logo, I think contrasts really nicely. As far as the laces go, so you do get cream laces on this pair, which obviously look amazing, but I think I would actually prefer to switch it up for these black laces on this one. And the reason I'm saying that, and honestly, this is very hard to see on camera. So you can see some loose hairs on the laces of the shoe. And I just don't like that look because it reminds me of when you go get a haircut. And when you finish your haircut, you look down on your sneakers and you see all these little hairs all over it. That's what it's reminding me of. So I think if you switch it out for the black laces, then you wouldn't be able to really see it. But this is a pair guys that I feel like you truly need to see this in hand. None of the pictures do it justice because these are phenomenal. The quality on this is really good. I actually do really want to keep this shoe in my collection, but I do have some personal sneaker rules and I recently did get those kit Adidas Sambas, which look very similar to this. I feel like I'd be wearing the exact same outfits with both of these sneakers. And as a rule, I just do not like keeping sneakers that look identical to each other in my collection. That's how I keep my collection at a reasonable amount. So I'm probably gonna sell these, although that doesn't mean I don't absolutely love them because I think they are fantastic. Also super versatile, maybe even more so than that cream pair. You can throw these on with anything. It's about as clean of a sneaker as you can get. The last pair of the four pack is this brownish burgundy pair. Honestly, I say brown, I say burgundy. It's a pretty unique color, although I would say it is tilting more towards being burgundy. This one is like the inverse of the cream pair because this time most of the upper is done in a burgundy color, but the stripes are done in cream. There's completely different materials being used on this pair. So on the toe box, we have suede. Although I will say it's not as soft as the suede you get on those original Wales Bonner pairs. The rest of the upper is done in nylon. 
and the stripes are done in leather. The retail price on this pair was $20 cheaper than the black and the white pairs. It also has a blue liner like the leopard one. The laces come in both burgundy as well as cream. The outsole here is different, so you see it's got kind of like a dark brown gum outsole rather than the lighter brown used on the first three pairs. My biggest complaint with the original nylon Sambas, especially that cream and green pair, was that the nylon material is almost impossible to clean, so I did get those quite dirty. But at least the nylon on this pair, because it's in a much darker tone, you won't really notice the dirt as much. It seems like looking on the resale market, the leopard print is the most popular, so it does seem like the general public finds those to be the most appealing. As far as I know, the leopard print has pretty much sold out everywhere, but there are several stores that still have the other three colorways in stock, so just make sure you check. If I were to rank these sneakers from my most favorite to least, I definitely would have this leopard pair at number one. I thought I would have the white pair second, but honestly, I gotta give it to this black one. These are just too clean. I'm kind of convincing myself actually to keep this one. And then number three, I do have the cream pair with the burgundy ones at number before let me know in the comments how do you guys rank these sneakers and which ones did you guys manage to cop as far as sizing goes so i will say sizing on the sambas is very different for everybody and it's not a very wide foot friendly shoe so personally i go a half size up in the adidas samba from my true size and i wouldn't say that it's the perfect fit because there is definitely some room in the toe box however when i go true to size in these i just feel like from a width perspective they're just too narrow i almost feel Feel like the bottom of my foot is actually not even on top of the midsole it's kind of like falling off the shoe but when I go true to size at least I feel like my feet are on the midsole but I would suggest you guys to go in store try on a pair of Sambas before you decide to buy these when compared to an Adidas Gazelle now in Gazelles like this Gucci one back here I go a half size down and these I go a half size up so all Adidas pairs do not fit the same, guys. I, in fact, made a whole video comparing all of the Adidas sneakers. I'll leave it up here in case you guys are interested in watching that. Overall, the Wales Bonner Adidas Samba Pony Hair Collection. These are simply some of the best shoes this year, period. It's great that the Samba hype has died a little bit because it was a lot easier to get these shoes compared to her previous releases. Back when those first Wales Bonner Sambas dropped, I'm pretty sure I was one of the only sneaker YouTubers to make a video on that shoe telling you guys why it was my absolute favorite sneaker to drop at that point that year and that was way before the samba hype was even a thing so i've just always been a huge fan of this wales bonner and adidas collaboration and this time she just knocked it out of the park these are just simply some of my favorite adidas sneakers to drop i would actually take any three of these over those silver ones that dropped in the summer and i just feel like years from now people are definitely going to regret sleeping on these so if you like adidas sambas guys these are a cop do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you found this video useful I'm dropping content just like this every single week and the best place to contact me guys would be Instagram That is where I'm dropping a ton of content every day and I respond to pretty much all of my DMs So if you guys want to contact me make sure you hit me up on IG. Thank you guys so much for watching this video I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace